Further northeast, the wind has been howling in Ramona. Some residents have already had their power shut off there as well. And our tenders reporter McKenzie Maynard is there live. McKenzie, SDG e is trying to help people stuck without their power tonight too. Yeah, Steve, right now about 1,200 people without power here in Ramona alone. Actually, follow me inside the Ramona library. You'll actually see this information table. People standing here asking questions, and we have multiple sdg &E representatives who are able to answer any of those questions. They, we also have a, a charging station just on the other side, so people can come and charge their phones or any electronics that they have. Of course, this all comes because of the high winds that we've seen through this area. Now these Santa Ana's are expected to be the worst so far this season and as Angelica will explain in more detail later, we've seen gusts up to here up here at nearly 40 miles per hour. Winds as strong as those call for down trees and possibly some dangerous driving conditions, but something that's causing a lot of concern and keeping fire crews here on alert is the potential for any downed power lines. Fire crews are trying to stay prepared for anything that could cause a spark up. Now we talked with one woman who woke up to find her home was one of the 1200 without power. No woke power. up and there was no power, so we had to light little lanterns to get my makeup on and get dressed. And again, this uh, information table will be set up until 6 o'clock tonight. They plan to be here through Friday. Now, a representative just told me that they weren't planning to have the power back on until Friday night at 6, but due to the winds not looking like they're going to last as long as they initially thought, some power could be restored as early as tomorrow night. Reporting live, Mackenzie Maynard, 10 News.